Hello, is this thing on? Test. Hi. Hi, chat. Can you guys hear me? We're doing this one live. Hello. Good morning. Oh, everyone's typing pog in chat, so I assume we're live. How's everyone doing? For those uh, listening in on uh, Spotify or YouTube or other platform of your choice, this is a special episode because we are doing it live. Normally, we pre-record these, so uh, there's going to be a live chat element to it. I'm Disguised Toast today. I'm joined by Mr. Broden. Creative director of Offline TV and Mr. Scara. Hello. Hello. Okay, you guys gotta give me more because oh, um, all three of us are hungover and there's no way I can do this by myself. There's no way we're hungover. I just didn't get that much sleep last night. I want a good morning voice like you. Here, here's my morning morning voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so oh boy there was only something that could wake me up and fill my belly with good delicious breakfast items you guys got any idea what i can do to alleviate that issue whoa what's all this mcdonald's doing in front of us Holy, where did they come from? We got sausage egg McMuffin, delicious hash browns, and seven cups of coffee. Okay, I am ready to do this podcast. I mean, do you guys want to partake in some? Oh, actually, yeah, can I get the coffee? (laughs) Which one, Scar? You got your choice of hot coffee. Or iced coffee. I want some iced coffee. Some iced coffee. (laughs) Today is going to be a long day. I think um, seeing seeing TwitchCon before, prior to this this year, guys, um, I think a lot of the uh, streamers were complaining about being not good enough. And I think this year, since two years and since uh, TwitchCon or three years, every single company was like, we're going to throw a banger party. We're going to throw a huge party. A rager, as the kids say. And so there's like five parties every night. And it's getting to the point where I'm like, oh, hmm. I would like not to die tonight. <laughs> it's currently day two. So we've only been here for two days. Day zero and day one. And I am in pain a little bit. All oh, right. I feel a lot better now. Yeah, so uh, for those wondering why we are in the state that we are in last night. Well, it was a long day at the convention meeting all you wonderful folks at the OTV X McDonald's booth at TwitchCon at booth 2005. We uh, met a lot of fans, a lot of meet and greet. I think everyone from OTV stopped by. And you know, that was very nice. A long day. And then we get back to the Airbnb and we have a two hour long discussion on whether or not to attend the the phase party. <laughs> it was a lot of back and forth sitting in the living room. It was like, okay, you want to go? Well, I kind of want to go, but I don't know if you want to go. I don't want to go if you don't want to go. All right, what well, about the line? How long is the line? So just that for two hours. <laughs> So by the time we decided that we were actually going, it was 11 o'clock already. Um, And to be fair, that was the perfect time to go because any earlier we would have just been waiting in line for all of that time. Yeah. Wait, wait. So how does it work? Because even if we arrived there, so we arrived and then we had to clout our way in. Yeah, really? the the line was based by a cloud system. No way. The they they said that the RCPs did not guarantee. Oh my god! Is that the person whose birthday it is today? Oh, <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Yvonne! 
Yo, Yvonne, you, you want to hop on stream? Oh, yeah. I look like shit right now. Perfect. Yeah, you'll be great joining the four of us here. Uh, 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 stand, right, stand right here. You're out of frame here. Frame here? You're out of frame here, and you can see if you're in camera view. Yeah, there you go. Shit. I'm here on camera. Go, go, go. <laughs> Happy birthday. Nice. Oh, you're about to order McDonald's from the app. What are you getting from the McDonald's app? Dude, would you like some coffee here? Would you like a, a sausage biscuit with egg? Oh, yeah, of course. I will take that. I will definitely yeah, pass this through. Pass this through. Did you notice it's 20% off because we're in San Diego? Whoa, 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 whoa. Staff eats after. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm just kidding. Here you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. You pass this one over? Sorry, our staff are hungry as well. Who ordered these, uh, these McDonald's? I noticed they're all biscuits. Okay, between biscuits and just muffin, I'm definitely more of a muffin guy. <laughs> Hmm, I, I I want the McGriddle. Oh my, that's <laughs> I forgot there was a third option. There was muffin, McGriddle. I I just slipped that in there. That's right. That was I created, a perfect. Oh my. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yvonne's doing her vlog, but because it's her birthday, I'm gonna allow it. Uh, no, you definitely do. Muffin is like the quintessential experience. Look, we're sponsored by McDonald's. So, you know, everything's great and all. But when it comes to the bun option for the breakfast sandwiches, there's definitely an order. Muffin, McGriddle, biscuit. Ooh. Okay, I kind of like that order. Because the biscuit's dry? It's dry. Oh, yeah. But, it's, you know, some people like dry, which is totally fine. I like, you know regularity the muffin's the perfect moist yeah yeah i kind of agree with that and the mcgriddle is too moist but it's like if you need a little sweet that's true it is sweet it's like eating a pancake with syrup yeah but it's definitely for the people who like a little sweetness in their breakfast i personally like the muffin okay what were we talking oh yeah phase up um <laughs> what <laughs> You had to clout your way into the party. It was kind of... <laughs> yeah. You you get to the front and you tell security, yes, we're on the list. And they're like, doesn't matter. And you go, no, 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 the VIP list. And they go, doesn't matter. And then you go, this phase up? And they go, okay, we'll talk to someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had to have people like... You had to have people on the inside come out to the entrance and be like yeah yeah they're with us they're with us it has to be like vip people yeah like um, even for us like we 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 were there under like ludwig's name when we got there i looked straight across to ludwig and he's like come through come through and I'm like there are people like ready to throw fists i can't just go straight in and then security was like you gotta go and they like ushered him away and was like all right guys run around yeah the uh, um uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'll remember in a second. Dude, okay, let me explain. These guys went to the phase part, the phase party, but I went to the cool kids party. I went to the uh, the VTuber V Shoujo party, <laughs> and so everyone's over there going to like the the club that phase rented out. I'm like going to like some random like bar that got rented out by VTubers. <laughs> Uh, so I ended up meeting a, uh, a lot of VTubers that I have uh, known about for a while. So you saw their faces? Yeah, I could dox all every single one of them, but I'm not going to because that's fucking mean. <laughs> what? But they're really cool. Everyone was really really nice. Who are some of the VTubers that were there? Um, for their safety, I will not mention some of them, but um. So you went to a party and you can't talk about what can you talk about that happened at that party? Um, I was hmm, let me think. Oh, I so I was there and um 
it's a it's a VTuber party and someone sees me and they're just like, yo, yo, Scara, can I get a pic? I'm like, I, immediately I'm like, yeah, sure, it's no problem. I'm like, of course. And he whips out his phone and I'm just like, wait, isn't that like a, a major faux pas to do that in the middle of like a, a VTuber party? And just see like a person behind me just like immediately dip out of the way and like move around. I'm like, oh God, that guy committed a sin right there. Kick this guy out. Kick this guy out. Anything happen? Did you see any VTubers hitting on each other? <laughs> I saw Saikuno there. And of course, he's just surrounded by VTubers. Everyone wants the piece of the Kuno. You know what I mean? This guy, I don't even know how he got in. I just like, look around. I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's like, hey. And I'm like, okay. He just like stands at that table. And then literally like the whole table just gets like overrun with people. I'm like... <laughs> Okay, man. All right. You think it's because he's clouded or he's nice, and that's why people surround him? I it's it's Saikuno, dude. What else are we gonna do? You're dodging the question, Scar. It's both. Damn. Was he was he in trouble? Like, cause I went to the phase party, and you know, even when I was there, there were some girls there that were like, you know, you know the kind of girls at these parties. They want to talk to you because, you know, you got clout. I feel like that wasn't really the case. There. That wasn't the case. And people were just really nice regardless of size, which is really surprising. I feel like, um, yeah, everyone's a little bit more united there. It's just weird that everyone knows me by face. So I had to guess their names. People didn't have name tags on. They, they like would write. Oh, they did have name tags on at the door and you'd write your name. But they would just write random stuff like penis or something. And I'd have to just guess, be like, you are? And they're like, oh, okay, okay, I know who you are. You are, a, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, yeah, I got it. You don't just go on voice? If you line up <laughs> 10 VTubers and they say two words, like, hey, man, you're not going to be able to guess all of them. I, God forbid, I don't know if I can guess half of them. Not a true fan. <laughs> you're right. I'm not a true fan. What the heck? Oh, well, that was going on. We were stuck in a club. That was jam pack. Oh, how big was the club? Because that's what they, like, I don't know any details about what they did. And they know very few details about what I did. So, like, it's like a, oh, what happened? It was fairly big, but it was still, like, we were, like, fish packed in a can. Okay, so so every single party we've been to this week uh, so far, there have been like f- three or four uh, over the first two days. It has been just packed to the brim. Like you're, it's like a what are they called? You're in a sardine can. It's like that. It's crazy. It's very, very crazy. People are out here looking to get messed up, and me, I'm just on the side drinking some water. It's not much I'm doing. Yeah, it was a. Uh a surprising amount of people for how little people they were letting in. Uh, you had... Sorry, there's an airplane flying by. Is it coming through on, on the stream? Okay, there we go. It passed. Um, it was super packed. Extremely packed. Pretty much every single streamer was there. I can't say well it'd be a social faux pas to uh, say who was at the party but did you guys see Travis Scott I did oh he was there he was actually there (laughs) did you not see him no I was within spitting distance was he on stage or was he just standing there yeah he was on stage but what was weird was it the club was so packed that people were all on stage what on the left and right yeah there was only a small like pocket in the center for Travis to be. So like, so, I'm surprised he wasn't like, "What are you all doing up here?" Like, <laughs> oh, oh my god! But so he just came out and then was just kind of like performing in this one spot. But but like how how was the performance? He do his greatest hits. Really good performer. I mean, he was only there for like 15 minutes. 
I, th- I think they paid him to do three songs, and then he dipped. Three songs. How much do you think that costs? Like Two hundred grand. Oh my god. <laughs> This guy's making bank, dude. Fifteen minute stream from Travis Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was, that was a guess. I have no idea how much they paid him. Could have been a favor. Is he friends with them? Well, uh, there's the you know, the Travis Scott meal. And then the phase is sponsored by McDonald's too. They did a partnership. Huh. And now we did a partnership. So now we get Travis Scott. <laughs> no, we get BTS. Oh. Yeah, because they also did a McDonald's collab. True. So McDonald's is the common factor in all these events and people. Wow. What a coincidence. <laughs> Next OTV party, OTV X BTS. Do, uh, do we get all of BTS or just one member? Well, we can. They probably send like one at most. Yes. <laughs> and we'll... Of course, label it as the BTS party. Yes. One, one member, but he sings all of their songs. <laughs> By himself. <laughs> their entire discography. <laughs> Who's their best singer? We can't answer that. Yeah. Okay, their fans can. That's a dangerous question. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, maybe they can. <laughs> well, two of them are in the army, right? Yvonne, yeah. you love BTS. Who's in the army? I knew you were a fake fan. <laughs> Her face is I so funny. I knew you were a fake fan. <laughs> We don't care about Blackpink. They're, They're not, not sponsored by, by McDonald's. Yeah, Blackpink is cool too. But not as cool as BTS, right, Yvonne? Was yeah, because BTS did the McDonald's. collab by, with yeah. McDonald's. Yeah, yeah exactly. Good answer. So, Good answer, Yvonne. Yeah. Will Blackpink be performing? That was performing the obvious answer. At the next OTV party? Oh. No, you know who will be? IU. <gasps> I would die for that. That'd be crazy. I would also die. I'm not even. Like, I would die first. I'm not a K-pop fan, but I IU is my bias. She is great. Do you think IU knows we used her cutout at a party? I hope not. <laughs> it's very cringe, especially the pictures I took next to it and around it, and everyone else who took pictures around it too. When did we leave the club? I think Probably I was like, like two ish. Oh, yeah, they shut it down at 2. Yeah. And then we Ubered back. And this guy starts hitting my phone up. Like, yo, yo, where you at, man? Where you at? (laughs) Yo, you guys still hanging out? Yo, I got a guy. Can I bring him plus one? We're going to hang out. You guys still drinking? Come on, man. You guys got to drink with us. And I had to, uh, yeah, yeah, we're drinking. Yeah, sure, you can come to Airbnb. We were not drinking, by the way. We were, like, super dead from um, the club. But, you know, he's from the East Coast. And we said, all right, all right, all right, Tarek, you can come. You can come bring your homie. And she was up with a friend. And then, and then what happened? Oh, it did happen. I fell asleep. They start- I, I can't. You don't know. Oh, you missed out. Yeah, I, I went upstairs to take off my makeup and ch- and everything, uh-huh. and then I laid in bed a bit, and I knocked out. Yeah, we yeah. found you passed out in the sink. We had to tuck you in. I did not pass out in the sink. Okay. She it would- was in bed. <laughs> Her memory seems kind of good to this morning. I don't know if she's really... Able- yeah, listen, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a veteran. Yeah, I came oh. back at 3 a.m. from my own thing. And I, I'm like, oh, everyone's probably asleep now. Like, I walk in. 3 a.m. Tomorrow, that's amateur hours. You were asleep. I fell asleep at 3.30. I have you know. <laughs> I didn't even see you when I walked in. I okay, anyways, like, what happened last night? <laughs> okay, we're getting there. We're getting, we got a lot of time to fill them on. But I walk in and I see Toast, special guest, the special guest's friend, and everyone's sitting around the, like, the little kitchen island just... I walk in instantly. Joey is like, shots. I'm like, <laughs> oh god, I just got yes. And so I took. Uh, I think they just had tequila, and I just slammed it, and we kept going for another two hours. What did we do, Broden? Well, we uh, San Diego's got really good oceans and beaches, 
So uh, we all stripped to our underwear and ran into the ocean. Yep. Did you guys actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we were supposed <laughs> to just dip our feet in the ocean. Roden was out there with Sid first, and you guys were just like ankle. We were just ankle height. Ankle height, ankle deep, standing on the beach, letting uh, the waves wash over their feet. And you guys are looking at the bioluminescence. Oh, yeah. Waves. There's bioluminescence right now. So with the big waves, like, glow at night. You missed out. Yeah. There, that's probably why there's sand on my feet. I walked down the stairs for a little bit. I'm like, why is it so dirty? <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, we were all out there. Yeah. We said, oh, wow. Rodan sets out there. Let's join them, you know. Mm-hmm. Let's get our feet wet. And then me and Scara stood by uh boat and sid we turned around and we don't see everyone else because we were walking with um, for like five minutes they're just they're not there yeah. there's lots of beach it was uh Tarek, michael and john right behind us and we turned around they're not there they're standing like on the dry sand and it's like this is at 4 a.m at this point so you can't see anything there's barely any moonlight and then we walk back and then I start like seeing their silhouette and I realized their silhouette has no clothes on them. Like it was the silhouette of their bare body and they were all stripping. Because somehow, I don't know how it started, I wasn't there. They all agreed that we should all strip to our underwear and run into the ocean. And of course, me and Scar like gave into peer pressure immediately. We said like, we said no, and then they looked at us and they're just like, "Really?" And then, c- come on, we gotta go at least neck deep. And I, I'm everyone's clothes are off. It's gonna be weird if my clothes are not off too. And so we took our clothes off. See, you guys had that up like before reaching the beach but for for us it was like that scene in mulan where like we're kind of just standing there and then just naked people start running past you so we're like okay i guess we're doing this yeah i was uh legitimately worried that michael and Tarek would be washed out into the endless vast ocean in the pitch dark black darkness yeah because they were very adventurous and they they instantly went neck deep I, I think i got as far as like chest deep but they were like swimming and you can't see anything because it's so dark but uh it was a lot of fun it was super cold and by the time we were done it was like 5 30 a.m and now we're here and that's what you missed Devon. You, you missed out it doesn't sound like i missed out now it was a core memory of on i'm gonna keep that True. memory for the rest of my life i feel really tired right now i feel like if i would you would. had the most sleep you can't fucking sleep. maybe that's why i feel more tired maybe if i had less sleep like you guys <laughs> i'd be more awake <laughs> yeah you guys <laughs> i'm looking at broden right now <clears throat> what huh no nothing no, keep going <laughs> yeah. You seem to be coughing a lot. Would you like to quench your your parched throat with some McDonald's? Maybe some McDonald's iced tea? Yeah, that's a good idea, Scar. Remember, guys, you can order McDonald's on the app. And if you're in San Diego, there's a special OTV 20% off where you just get 20% off. This is a podcast. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, Brody, were you saying that as a statement? Yeah. This is a podcast. Like, that that part's going to be weird in the podcast because you're talking to a chat that's not going to exist. No, but we preface at the very beginning that there was a chat element, so they understand that it's going to be a little weird. That's fair. Yeah, you got. You kind of have to pick the audience you're appealing to here. 
and I apologize for any, uh, any people on Spotify who can't understand that. Instead, just listen to to sultry morning voice. I I like someone. Okay, someone in chat just said something that triggered me. <laughs> and it's ass. <laughs> they said, "Oh, is this twenty percent off each item or twenty percent off as a whole?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking like, that's. <laughs> That's the exact same thing. If you take 20% off every individual item, it's the same as taking 20% off everything. Your entire order. It doesn't add up. So, your, yeah. Your math there also reminded me, Toast is really good at pool. What? Really? He, he uses actual geometry to do his shots. <laughs> He's like drawing graphs and equations be like okay and, you know, this it's is the exact of, degree of the angle <laughs> i'm so good i used to hustle the kids down to my university but there's no kids at waterloo they're all <laughs> i didn't have a lot of friends so i just spent my time in the cafeteria where we had three pool tables and the people that played are like the rich chinese kids sent over by their parents and that's where I learned to play pool. Oh my god, it's a backstory to his to his career. What were we talking about before that? It's so hard to remember things now. The twenty percent off of McDonald's. Yeah, but before well, that. Before that. <laughs> oh, the ocean. The ocean. No, after that, that was something before <laughs> the twenty percent <laughs> and after the ocean. No one's going to well, remember. I guess that's just going to be a blank spot in my memory forever. <laughs> he lost a core memory there, guys. What are you guys up to today? It is 10.20, which is actually pretty late in the morning, but we just woke up with three hours of sleep. Yeah. What do you guys got going on today? Let's start with you, Scar. Later today, I got invited to go on the boat with a piece of bread and talk for a couple hours. And we realized that we're also going to spend the morning talking together as well. So I have, we'll have talked all day. <laughs> I'm a meter and a greeter at 3 p.m. Oh, meter greeter. Oh, we had a, a lot of meet and greets yesterday. How do you guys feel about them? Pretty good. <laughs> They were great. The problem is more just like every time I try to walk anywhere, if you stop for one photo, it turns yep. into a meet and greet. Do you, do you know Michael's strategy for that? Mm. He told me his strategy is actually sick. So when he walks by and he needs to go, he says, yo, one person take the picture and airdrop it to everyone else. <laughs> he takes one picture, he runs. And the guy has to then like add everyone and fucking like give them the picture and shit like that and so it's up that guy gets swarmed as michael just dips so wait. he uses substitution juice too. yes essentially wait like a picture of just himself it's like him with everyone else and they have to get the picture from that one guy who's uh, that one guy and he just runs so he takes a group picture yep. like a giant group picture that's a perfect table turn yeah that's he's actually a genius <laughs> what i used to do is i used to take a video like every once in line, I take a video. I'm just like walking down the line, pointing it at myself. And I say, okay, I'm going to post this on Twitter. Pause on the frame <laughs> you're in the shot and just yeah. screenshot that and use that as the picture. Also efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of have to like learn how to do that. Because video is 24 pictures a second. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I don't know why people just don't do video all the time. A video <laughs> is just a photo, but more. <laughs> right, so you get more to pick from. Uh, okay, so we're doing the meet and greet because we get because we're like literally standing on our feet, like doing nothing. We we try to make it interesting for ourselves. So we got to the point where we're, where we're just trying to mess with the people coming in, and every, we, each of us three, me, Michael, Toast, and the meet and greet are doing different things to introduce ourselves. So like Michael starts with the the handshake, I the fist bump, and Toast has the high five, and to see. The people come up and realize what we're doing or like try to figure out what we're doing and mess up it's so funny <laughs> oh my god we did that for like 30 minutes straight <laughs> oh 
what, when you guys are posing, what like, what do you do for your photos? Do you have a go-to pose, or do you like? I like to match. I like yeah. to match, but like you start just using your fingers for everything. Like you're just like, yo, and then like yo, and then like, I don't know, just like yeah. start, eventually you just throw Spider-Man, stuff out. I'm like, whoa, you know, start you start hand sign. I think we had the Naruto pose at some point because we were just trying to figure out what to do with our hands. We're also not allowed to do autographs. Because it like really slows things down. Okay, I oh, want to stop that for you guys. Yeah. Okay, no, you you don't understand. It's because it was the Michael Toast meet and greet. So like literally, the thing starts. The line is <laughs> uh, down the convention hall, hugging the wall, and they had to cap it like a second in, or else we would literally never fucking leave. <laughs> but yes, it it was a long long line yeah and like every time someone tried to ask for an autograph we have to be like well we blamed it all on uh one of the assistants the assistants there emily mm-hmm. every time someone asks it's like sorry she's gonna literally kill us if we sign anything and we will like have to tell her hey this guy's trying to get us to sign something <laughs> she would yell at them like no signing no signing and then she would try and give them a mcdonald's pen after but <laughs> like not like as an option like people will like take the picture and walk away and she's like don't forget your pen and like put it in that's <laughs> it it's a nice mcdonald's pen though she's a real one someone's got to do it okay someone's got to be the the mean guy and then we just point to her and be like i'm sorry we can't do anything she's gonna kill us literally now you guys know whoever asked you for a signature after that actually wants you to die exactly there were still a couple there was a point where they stopped doing signatures and started doing hugs and they were just hugging us like non-stop and then emily got pissed and she's like i i love you guys but no more hugs <laughs> <laughs> she was really cracking down you know for any Lily Peachy's watching, uh, Michael got the most hugs. They were really long compared to everyone else, too. Really long. Especially from the dudes. Yeah. That was funny. Since we had the meet and greet with Michael, and Lily didn't uh, attend TwitchCon, a lot of her fans just asked Michael, Hey, Michael, can you say hi to Lily for me? Like, tell her, like, I'm one of her biggest fans. And Michael always say, yeah, I'll definitely tell her. And I asked her, you're not going to tell her anything, are you? <laughs> and he said, oh, I would tell her there was a collective amount of people who wanted to say hi, but definitely not individually who they were. Um, so I hate to break it to you. People waiting in line, but Michael, I don't think Michael's going to say, oh, yeah, this person wanted to say hi. Every time that happens to me, like if I'm going to meet a friend, and like I'm with someone else, it's like, oh, can you say hi to them for me? I say, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. But I'm not going to go to dinner and say, oh, you know who wanted me to say hi to you? Like, Bob. It's like, okay, great conversation. Like, who does that? The, the thing you do is you sit down and you say, first things first, got to get this off the table. Uh, Toast says hi. I saw him before I got here. Toast says hi. You say it twice. I've done that, actually. And then they'll say something like, oh, thank you. Could you tell him blank? And you say yes. And you write that down. And Bro, they got back, no one they got does text that. Messaging. They can do it themselves. Actually, something that triggered me yesterday was like, um, here we go. This person who didn't, you know how like people crowd around sort of to like wait for the person to like take a picture or whatever. So this person doesn't go to like Saikuno or like doesn't walk to him or anything. He's like off to the side and then he's like, hey Vaughn, can you grab Saikuno for me? As Saikuno is like busy, like can't move from his like thing. It's like, you have legs. Why aren't you walking over to Saikuno? Why are you telling me to grab Saikuno for you? What was that gonna do? Well, I mean, did you do it? No. I said it in a really nice way because I couldn't say it. I was like, gonna say, yeah, you didn't say that to him. I You're did not. Like- I, ha- I didn't have the balls to, but I just said, uh, I mean, he's. I, <laughs> I don't remember what I said. I love having meet and greet lines, and then literally, like, there's a person who just turns and sees you and just cuts the entire line. Yo, 
can I get a picture? And then you just there's obviously like twenty people like behind them, but they just don't look. They just don't know this. You're like, you know what? We're not gonna perceive this line. Yo, can I get a pic? And I have to be like, get in line. <laughs> get away. Get in line. The having a line is better though, because otherwise you're just like in a storm. Like it, it's funny walking the convention floor because like suddenly you'll just see like a mob of swirling humans in the middle. Like some someone's in the middle there. It's like who, I wonder who it is. No, I would say Ray had the biggest one. Yeah. He opened really? um a door to the convention, and as soon as we opened the door, like the the door was already kind of blocked from the inside because there was a throng of people like. 60 individuals crowded around this door i'm like what the hell is going on are you doing like um a giveaway and then in the corner i saw this girl in a bright green uh sweater i'm like what who the hell is that and then i see it is ray with two like muscular bodyguard keeping the hungry masses from like at bay it was like a zombie scene yeah because she was in the corner and like we opened the door and she kind of like made eye contact with us and we saw this the like mob of people and we're like good luck ray <laughs> and we were just like bite <laughs> yeah. i am not surprised at all she was pretty much doing an impromptu meet and greet her it's funny like she's a youtube streamer and i would say her crowd was probably the biggest bigger than any twitch streamer that i saw there this week but yeah um thankfully she had security because uh they were like okay you just need to you you know you're out of here in five minutes because i'm pretty sure she would just meet everyone um because i know ray pretty much never says no unless like someone has to physically drag her away uh because she is the type to try and take pictures and sign everything with fans I noticed because I'm someone who likes meeting all my fans and like I always make an effort to like take as much pictures and sign as much things as I can. But uh, how did you turn that into being about yourself? I would say every time someone asks me to sign something, Ray's signature is already on there. And I'm usually a little peeved because I'm like, wait, I'm the guy who's nice to my fans. But somehow like there's way more of her signature on stuff than i do and like damn she's really putting in the time yeah whenever i saw a ray signature i would put mine close by because i know that that's one they're gonna remember so then by proximity they'll be like oh yeah he was there too also it was funny getting like you're signing a lot of badges and so it's funny see, like receiving a badge and kind of seeing like their roadmap of like, oh, they saw Box Box and Jamie, cool. Or like, oh wow, they really saw everyone. It's been like 30 minutes, how'd you do that? Yeah, like some, some badges are just like completely filled and I don't like those ones because it's like, okay, you're just trying to collect all the signatures. You, there's no way you're watching like all of us because it range from like some, uh, some like random, um Valorant streamer to a random league streamer and then like a random hearthstone streamer is like okay there's no correlation between any of these streamers you're just trying to get as much signatures as you can and that's okay because i wouldn't want to gatekeep signatures right right hello this thing on no no i don't want to just sign anyone's badges i want to sign the badges of real <laughs> this guy's toes are offline tv fans so when you sign why don't you sign really big oh like just take up the whole space yeah oh just be like and then if you if you receive one it's like uh, my it's not gonna fit sorry <laughs> you used up all the real estate <laughs> i think if my ego was bigger i would sign big but because there was so there's so much like streamers here also if you sign big that's a lot of extra like force time yeah time and like the calories you have to burn (laughs) so what i do is i i will sometimes like when the line is long i will literally just scribble (laughs) like not even try and sign it it's like (laughs) there there was there's one person who asked michael for a signature like during the meeting before we got in michael literally 
takes the marker, there's three lines. He's like, yeah, that's my name. Probably something in like Japanese or something. And it's just good. It's literally just three random lines. <laughs> oh, you guys didn't go to this. When we first arrived, day zero, okay. There was a partner party that I went to. And and everyone else in the house was like, let's get Mexican food and smoothies. And I, I'm leaving. I'm just like, that sounds really good. Why am I going? I get there. And there's obviously, it's all partners. But someone tells me the greatest thing. The catering at the TwitchCon partner party. There was four cheese Costco tortellini there. You could tell because if you've ever eaten it, it has a very distinct flavor. And everyone was telling me that's definitely from Costco, dude. I'm like, they really upped their game this year, guys. They just like to the very top. I, lo- I love that tortellini. It was great. Do they have to boil it in a big batch or do they do it one by one? <laughs> Pretty sure it's a big batch. The worst thing is the catering is all outside and it rained during the middle of the party, like sprinkled a little bit. And so you could taste the rainwater with the food. I'm eating like a what's supposed to be like bruschetta, and like the 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 thing's a little soggy, but I have to eat it because I have nothing in my stomach and I'm drinking. Did they have a musical guest at the party party? Like last last time they had Dylan Francis there. No, they kind of cut corners a little bit, <laughs> a little bit this time. Did you guys go to the super cool private partner lounge? Yeah. Yeah. It was really cool. It was sick. Wait, did you? Yeah, they've got like coffee and stuff. And, like you can take like a golf cart to the back. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> That's he's lying. And Red Bull. So um we all have badges, right? And they made it super obvious because some partners' badge has like a star on them. Yep. <laughs> And some don't. And you start noticing the partners with the star on them are all streamers with like more than a thousand. It's actually not like super like high, high, high top of the Twitch streamers. But like if you have over a thousand viewers, you had a star by name because um, they have these partner lounges at TwitchCon to like give partners a space to like relax the problem is if you're one of the top streamers even the partner lounge you will still get stopped for photos and i ask for signatures that people are trying to strike um i would say at the partner lounge i get way more people trying to have a conversation with me it's like because they approach me as an equal it's like hey you're a partner i'm a partner <coughs> we're both in the partner lounge why don't we talk like you know we're both the same level but realist we're, we're not right <laughs> Or not, <coughs> and that's why they have a star put on these badges, so that you can go to another area that is the secret, exclusive upper tier partner lounge, and they don't like us talking about it because, you know, when small streamers realize it's like, hey, you're not treating us equally. It's like, well, that's because we're not equal. <laughs> And the food there is way better. <laughs> I was at the partner lounge and they had popcorn. <laughs> I went to the yeah. special partner lounge. They had wings and tacos. I'm like, yeah. It, you also, from the, <laughs> the partner lounge, you can, you can get like a golf cart to the convention from the back. So they're just like, yo, you want to go? Anytime you want to go, man, come down here. We'll call a golf, golf cart. We'll take you around the back. I'm like, wow, that's really nice. Yeah, the drivers are super nice too. Yeah, it's it's great. Uh, unfortunately, Yvonne's didn't make it in. Didn't make the cut. Yo, Yvonne, you got whoa, you, what, what's you got on your badge? On your badge? Huh? Yeah, what do you I have got, on your I got badge? this uh, microphone thing with like sound coming out of it, but you don't have that one. I think I have that. I actually, one. don't have that one. Uh, I have two symbols: a V and a star. But Yvonne, I think, just has the the microphone one, which I don't know what that means. I think it's literally just for the party. <laughs> no, it means but you're loud. I, I don't know. Yeah, that means you're loud. <laughs> they really got you. <laughs> they don't know that I'm loud. The the music notes for the party. Oh, okay. I don't know what the if someone what is it for then? 
It's yeah. a signal to security to like watch out. This one's a screamer. But yeah, uh, it's so funny because like I went inside like the private lounge and it's literally like the elites of Twitch like just sitting around s- sipping on their like fancy champagne and drinking their fancy coffee and like just talking to each other like wow this is uh this is like the illuminati of twitch all gathered in one room. oh yeah <laughs> see about the illuminati um so i got a hotel room uh for twitchcon and I, I we also have this place here where we're staying with all of us so we thought it'd be cool to rent like a, an airbnb uh like nearby and so I'm not using the hotel room, but some I go back sometimes just so I could shower near the convention uh, to go out later at night. I go back, and there's just people being really loud, like near me, like on the sides. And I'm like, okay, that's not a big deal. I hear someone shout really loud, I'm gay. And I'm like, what is going on over there? Don't really think too much about it. I leave. I'm going to the elevator. I hear the door behind me open and close. And so the people next to me, they go to the elevator too. I'm on the elevator. I look who comes out of the room next to me. It's Dream and all the Minecrafters. I see like Sabnap and I see like Carl. And I'm like, (laughs) what room did you guys come from? (laughs) They're like, oh yeah, this room next to me. I'm like, ah, I heard you guys just now. (laughs) Dream sighting wise, me and Toast have met Dream so far. Michael has not. Yeah, and you want to know where I met Dream? Where? At the private part of the lounge. Oh, that would make sense. <laughs> I walked in and he was walking out. He's like, hey, Toes, oh my God. And like, it took me a second to realize who he was because I've never seen his face until like he revealed it. I've seen his face more than mine in the last couple of days. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he was super nice. And um, yeah, it was cool to see him like being able to come out in public. I just figured, like, is it a super upside or a super downside when you can't show your face publicly? Because, like, it does add that mystery online, but you can never participate in anything with your friends when you when they're doing, like, IRL stuff. And honestly, the meta shifts around so much that being able to show your face is really important. Like, um, game show, vlogs, travel stuff, um, hanging out, and his crew all does that, like... All the Minecrafters, like they hop on each other's streams, so I imagine it was uh, rough not being able to do that. They're all really close too. Like at the event, if you see one, you'll see like a little, little swarm. But they're really nice. Wait, anything you gotta say about Minecrafters, bro? Yeah, I the in the back area like the private area i took like a golf cart with dream and we like fist bumped and it was really cool where's your badge bro he's a super nice guy badge? Uh, it's, i think it's downstairs downstairs yeah did you did you get the star because i remember you not able to uh we we asked for your name on oh the yeah, list. yeah i couldn't find it it'd be misunderstanding they they cleared it up yeah <laughs> yeah it was super cool really nice guy marquise helped me out marquise yeah what was your favorite thing about the golf cart ride? Um, well, you get like kind of the nice, cool ocean air because we're by the beach. And so it's like a nice, just kind of drive. And you, I like to sit in the back so I can kind of like watch everything. Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's a great experience. Mm-hmm. So I'll see you later at the, the private lounge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can take a golf cart together. Nice, nice. You should see Michael's badge. <laughs> Have you seen Michael's badge? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> to register for TwitchCon, you need to like log into your Twitch account and say, I'm going to TwitchCon. He does not have access to his Twitch account because he changed his phone number and his two-factor is tied to his own number. So he can't access his account, so he can't sign up as a Twitch partner. <laughs> So on his badge, it says, Twitch user, please let me into TwitchCon. That's his like, entire badge name. Yeah. But 
that he doesn't have any markings on it because it's just he's pretty much coming as like a regular <laughs> viewer now. Um, it's great. Yeah. And the name's so long, it's just like tiny little letters. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so it's like squeezed in. Someone in chat, is there any uh, drama the first day? Drama? No, I mean, you guys know this about streamers, all right? The drama only happens when you can get views from it. Like, you see all these people, like, beef and, like, insult each other. It's not real. Once they see each other in real life, it's like, yo, what up, man? And then they do the the thug hugs and, the like, the, the, the handshakes. <laughs> yeah I, I would not say this any real drama although like if you were at the club like just like a lot of uh, gaming events you know when you go to the club you do see a lot of like guys trying to get handsy with the girls I think that's the only thing happens a lot Bro, also the VTuber party, what happened over there? I mean, it was a club. It's a typical thing. But it's just weird when the the guys there, like, you know, trying to chat up the girls instead of just regular people. It's like big streamers. Um, You know, because streamers, they're human too. They're trying to, they're trying to like, you know, meet somebody. They're trying to spit game. They're trying to spit game. And honestly, someone could just take a video recording and just like drop it online and just show everyone what's happening. But that doesn't happen, thankfully. What was it like at the VTuber party, Scar? You see anyone trying to spit game? Everyone was too nice to each other. I've never been to a party where everyone's just really nice. And then, like, what normally happens is, I'm, is I don't know if this happens every time, but it's that start, standard thing where, like, the girls drink a couple shots, they're drunk, and they start making out. But that's just, I feel like, kind of normal. That's standard for you? I mean, I feel like that's normal sometimes. Whoa, that didn't happen at the club. Yeah. We were just dancing. <laughs> All the VTubers love each other. Huh? Wait, what do you what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> scar you just laugh and didn't answer my question <laughs> don't worry about it i want to go to your parties <laughs> yeah the v2 <laughs> party sounds- I, I, no, I shit you not i didn't invite them because i thought that was going to be super exclusive like yeah i asked her hey can we come and i gate kept him yeah. yeah, it was, was kind of crazy. I, I cloud checked him, okay? And then I go in and I'm just like, I see like non VTubers there, like people pulling out pictures, like cameras asking for pictures. And I see Saikuno. I'm like, I could have just invited them. What the heck? No, no, you, no, you, you wouldn't have invited. Scar is trying to keep, keep us from the VTubing community. Scar, you're shaking your head, but the people listening on audio can't see that good they're gonna have to just feel it yeah we couldn't uh we couldn't go to the v2 party Mm -hmm. the best part was i was with a vtuber there and they told me it was their first time at the bar and they i i'm with them at the bar getting drinks and they elbow the, the full drink and it just spills instantly like and the <laughs> the, the, the waitress or not the waitress the, what do what they call I am out of it bar worker worker yes it just looks at them and like man come on dude and, and they're like oh I'm, I'm really sorry I'm really sorry and then they go get their drink and instantly elbow it again and spill it again in the same exact area and that was my first interaction with them. I'm just like, <laughs> it's a good first impression. <laughs> oh. Was the word you were searching for barmaid? It was bartender. Um, 
Okay, my brain function is probably at like. What do you think yours is at right now, guys? Are you guys working one hundred percent? I'm. I'm like past that. I'm firing on like one hundred and twenty percent, maybe even one thirty. Oh. Like ten percent for me. But I think it's actually making me a more articulate individual because I have to use, like Rowan said, all my brain power to form words. Your bullshit meters are definitely above 100% right now. That are coming out of my mouth. It's just like every word I'm saying is so carefully crafted to make sure it makes sense. Because I think otherwise it would just be gibberish. Alright. So what's next? You guys going to the Hundred Thieves party tonight? Yep, we do it all over again. <laughs> do it all over again. See you at the beach later tonight. Yep. Let's make it a big crew at the beach tonight. I mean that might happen because like um we have like a pretty chill laid back airbnb it's like how after a party at a convention everyone tends to just retreat to a hotel room and gather there mm -hmm. order room service and just talk and chat and like kick back but we have an airbnb so i imagine there's a good chance it's gonna happen again like after 100 these parties like yo where are you going to like oh yeah i'm just gonna head to like the otv airbnb to hang out for a bit you know what we should do? Uh, we should each night invite a few people over and the people that were over the night before, bring them out to the beach, but then not tell them what normally happens. And then at a certain point, we all just strip and run into the water so that every new person's like, oh, I guess it's just what they do. And like, <laughs> it becomes like the OTV cult thing to do. <laughs> and no one's going to talk about it. Like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Like just, oh, it's so cold. But yeah, like once you see everyone do it, you're like, man, this looks fun. Yeah. I, I want to I wanna be part of this. It'll be our ritual. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was really cold, but it was uh, really fun. Like freezing, but you're freezing all together. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, that's probably what's going to happen tonight. Like go to the party. I think Hunter Thieves is like the only party that people are going to go to. You think people are going to get cloud checked? For sure. Every one of these parties right now, they send an RSVP list online and all their friends share it amongst all their other friends. And you know what happens? Uh, like it's a 200 capacity venue that has 400 RSVPs. So even the RSVP people will get turned away at the door and the people get in cloud. That's that's the I'm like not, not even kidding. Just know someone to get you in. But we luckily we know a lot of people. Yeah, I think with FaZe, it was different because we don't really know that much FaZe people. Yeah. Um, like, we knew people that FaZe people knew, um, but we don't uh, interact with the FaZe guys too much. So that was more difficult. We had, to, we had to do the whole, like, oh, I know a guy. I know a guy. He owns a place. Or, like, I know a guy who knows the guy who owns the place kind of deal. But... With a hundred thieves, um, I I know a girl, you know, <laughs> she's uh, same. I, I think she can. I think she can get us in. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's she's one of the owners. Oh damn! It's yeah. like that. Yeah, it's like that. It's no big deal. Like oh, okay. if you guys need to get in, I can. Yeah. I kind of I kind of wish like all our friends wasn't that close to hundred thieves, so I can be that guy. You know, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah I, I got you guys. You know. <laughs> Every time you go to a club, one of one one person is always like, "Oh yeah, I know the guy. Yeah, I know the manager. I can get you guys in." And yeah. To the bouncer, they're like, "Yeah, it's just under, uh, you know, so and so." And the bouncer like, "Let's you in." And everyone like glares at you. <laughs> She's gonna be like, "Yeah, you can come in," and then the whole party's gonna be capacity once she has all her friends going. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think the hundred thieves one will be. Uh, much better and more gamery and like more um people we know which is both a good thing and a bad thing because you'll pretty much know everyone at the hundred thieves party already it's usually the same crowd and 
some people definitely don't like other groups of people, but everyone will always be like, hey, you know, hey, nice to see you. And then as soon as they separate, like, just talk mad shit about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's but, what you guys do? Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's a lot of fun. Oh. What okay. happens to your parties again? People just spill drinks and people laugh about it. Is it? Okay. Yeah. And after we run into the ocean again. Yep. But the good news is tomorrow. No, sorry. The bad news is tomorrow. We don't have an offline TV X McDonald's podcast, which is very sad because I love waking up to the fresh smell of McDonald's at 9.30 a.m. in the morning after running in the ocean until 5 a.m. But, you know, at least we have McDonald's today using the amazing McDonald's app. We're in San Diego right now, and I actually checked... It says offline TV exclusive on the official McDonald's exclusive. app. Ooh. So um, we're just like BTS. Or BTS in San Diego. There's going to yeah. be people in San Diego <laughs> who doesn't know a single thing about streaming. Look, opening the app and seeing like <laughs> offline TV X McDonald's, 20% off your first $10 order. And they're like, I don't know who offline TV is, but I love 20% off. So it's not just like people at TwitchCon or OTV fans. It's just like everyone <laughs> in San Diego. Yeah. And they're doing OTV just because like there's a lot of people. You know what like what's cool? I'm sure like some streamers that came to um TwitchCon are trying to order um McDonald's on their app. And then they'll see our name on it. They're like, damn, OTV is cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, Scarlett, what you got there? We're going to pull this up on stream. It came for TwitchCon, guys. Describe it for the people who are visually... Uh, impaired? Un- not impaired, like not watching the, the video format. My, my, my onesies came. And they'll be available at TwitchCon and online later like next month or something. I'll be honest, I have no confidence in being able to sell any of these, so we kept the prices relatively cheap. Like sixty five dollars. So uh they're really they're really nice. I would if you guys want them and you're at TwitchCon, I don't know you're not watching the stream, so I don't know why I'm saying this. But um they're at the booth. For the viewers listening at home, Scar, could you describe the onesie in uh extreme detail? It's like if you skinned my old VTuber model, literally, and put it on the wall. You know how they, when you, you're you like a hunter and you hunt game and there's like uh, bear pelts and stuff like that? It's like a little dinosaur pelt, dragon pelt on their wall, and they skinned it and they turned it into a onesie. So you're saying it's a uh, light blue onesie with purple scales? Yeah, and you can still see the eyeballs for when it still worked. When they were still moving and alive. But anyways, they're cute. I would recommend them. Oh, look. It, it looks like it's got a tongue now. We actually end up announcing so many things at our booth. Uh, when, what, our booth what, what number is the booth, guys? 2005. Our booth 2000, number 2005 has John start off his merch run, his mouse pad. We got Toast's entire collection, which I think sold out five minutes online. Is Are they sold out the venue too? So there's not sold out the venue, so you can't even get, you have to be here to get his stuff. And then there's my onesies. Um, and then, is there something else? That's, that's, that's a lot of things. The Masayoshi mouse pad Pog. I got the snake tongue down. You don't think you'll sell out, Scar? Dude, I'm telling you, I don't know if I really... I, I don't, I've never done merch before. And I'm, I, I have high I have high confidence issues when it comes to selling stuff. So we we have like... I think it will sell 100 onesies. But I have like 
a lot more of these and i don't think i'm this i'm not gonna be like you and sell out in like five minutes dude well that's what i thought and look at me now this car i'm pretty confident these were six well normal like full onesies are like for 100. branded onesies i did some research apparently they, they go as low as branded official onesies that are made of high quality are like 85 dollars, and they go up to like 120 if you're marvel or disney um and the ones you buy on amazon normally that are like really cheap quality like the basic ones or you can be a tiger or like 35 40 so i just put it's like just in the middle we also um did a collab with champion our champion collab is out there as well it they took the champion design and put our like face in the middle of the otv logo and it looks like among us if you turn it sideways we're just dropping all sorts of clothing yeah we're turning to a clothing company yeah we kind of are yeah. <laughs> oh uh, I didn't expect the champion one. Yeah. We, like, you know, I'm pretty out of it. So one day we just showed up and it's like, all right, we're doing cha- like on my calendar it said champion shoot. I thought we we're going to play like Fall Guys or something. <laughs> like, oh, we're going to crown a champion or something. And then they're like, okay, now wear this, wear this, wear this and look good for the camera. Yeah. You know, that, you, that day... We talked. We talked about it. that. They were out for fourteen hours for shoots. We did one champion shoot, one shoot for some. Oh, hey, hey. Sid. Oh, perfect! <laughs> wow. Go ahead and sit in the the guest seat. I you, don't even have my contacts in. Like I you, can't even see you guys. You don't have to be on camera if you don't cool. want to be. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing? doing good hey what's wrong with your voice it sounds a little different no it's a it's a new thing i'm trying it's a bit for a stream oh cool what's what's the bit um i'm trying to sound like a rock star what do you guys think that's a really good one they sound like the his voice after thank you yeah it's uh it was i was performing last night so i'm just showing up i look i I, broden looks the part Mm -hmm. i'm playing the voice of it all yeah how's everybody feeling this morning you guys look great Woo! <laughs> everybody looks great ready to take on the day oh yes okay so broden's a puppeteer now cool are you, are you just waking up i did just wake up it's 11 o'clock well, what is what are you trying to say it's you do you normally wake up at 11 are those hash browns those are hash browns yes do we have more of those do you want actual <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, yes. Pass us over. Pass us over to our toes. Oh, you just pogged. <laughs> I did just buy pogged IRL. <laughs> would you like these hash browns or would you like like fresh hot ones? Anything will do. Uh, How about I strike a deal with you guys? I'll come sit down, chat with you, and do my makeup if you give me five minutes. <gasps> oh. Pog. Pog? Yeah. Okay, I will be right back. Maybe less than five minutes. Nice. Does she know this is being streamed? (laughs) (laughs) I don't think so. (laughs) Oh, this is going to be a great deal. All right. Well, there's only three spots on this couch, so she's going to have to replace one of us. Oh, that's just too bad. You know, honestly, I I, I have to go somewhere anyways. Wait, do you? Yeah. Where? My bed, my bed's kind of calling me right now. Oh, it's t- okay. It's telling me, "Yo, man, come back. I miss you." Nah, just sh- sh- it's all right. I I'm gonna volunteer my spot. What? Because you know, Sydney's gonna need some place to sit. I th- but you're the host with the most. Well, I we never we we never established that I was the host of the podcast. You, but you intro today. You podcast. intro today's podcast because no one else would do it. Well, this just, is what happens every time. No one else does something, and I do it, and suddenly, oh, that's your responsibility, toast. <laughs> it's been like this. I never agreed to be the host. I was just the guy who's on the show a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm losing my voice too. So, 
All right, fine, I'll stay. Actually, no, I have to go. You know, I'll stay. I'm we missing can... a lunch for this. They, my manager messaged me and yelled at me. Really? The podcast. If you were watching a video, if you saw me look down my phone, it's me getting yelled at. Oh. <laughs> but it's okay because nothing is more important than telling the world how you can download the McDonald's app and if you're in San Diego, save 20% off any order that's ten dollars or more and if you're at twitchcon you can come check out our booth at 2005 where we have partnered up with mcdonald's to do a retro themed arcade and they actually have a really fun game the the game that toast can't win at the key from the claw machines where you're pushing a key through a tiny hole and i thought i'd be good at it because i went to japan with connor and we did a lot of claw machines and i was popping off on those but the ones here uh i couldn't get it broden you want something actually yeah i was really good at it oh. i want a 25 dollars mcdonald's gift card a little too good i just see broden with these gift cards i'm like aren't those ours why are you getting though those it's, are f- for our fans it's weird because like i didn't expect it to be 25 dollars like they, they, they had like keychains small like lego type looking toys <laughs> which each of those is probably like two or three dollars and then there's the gift card it's just 25 dollars and yeah bro didn't want those that was cute that was fun so if you want to win something come by the otv booth and it's also the only place to buy my merch now because it's sold out online the trick is to hit the button for exactly one second Before she comes on, would you like to tell her the secret, Broden? Sydney. Sydney? Say, so wait, 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 real quick. Yes. Are you aware this is live streamed as well? Yes. Great. Perfect. This is going to be your mirror. <laughs> what, do you, uh, what do you think the difference would be if she didn't know it was live streamed? Like she wouldn't have agreed to it? Well... She, I, she might have just been putting on her makeup during a podcast thinking her audio is being recorded. No, I knew it was live stream. I pulled up the stream when I woke up and saw you guys and it laughed really hard. Not like, but a little. Yeah, definitely. Who was, who was okay, funny? I'm coming in. Don't worry about me. I'm just going right, to sit move on over, the floor move, somewhere. Move over, move over. Move, Don't sit on the couch. Move that? Well, I, I need the table. Hello. Hello, Hello everybody. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> this is now a uh Quattro. let's get ready it's yeah podcast. it's a great it's a it, get ready with me mm-hmm. watch me do my makeup i don't know how i'm gonna do my makeup and hold this at the same time though how you said hi hello everybody good morning i want to hold to my all right so go ahead and walk through your routine oh you want me to walk through my routine Ooh, yeah, okay. this is like getting ready oh uh, yes okay well i of course just did my skincare so now that my skincare is done i have this handy bag with all of my makeup in it um and i'm gonna start with my eyes so that it doesn't bleed on my face when i put my face makeup on and of course they all know what i'm talking about right now yes yes especially scar yes scar seems enthusiastic yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was talking to Jody, and I'm like, Jody, I think I need. A- oh. You guys no. heard that bonk? It was my palate breaking. This is the worst. It's fine. I don't even use that one. Okay, so first I go in with a color that matches. <laughs> this is is this really this is, is this really what I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, right <now>? go for <laughs> it. This is gonna be a great podcast. <laughs> Especially for our uh, audit, the audio only listeners. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna be like, "What? If, what is this?" I'm using the wrong color. I'm fine. <clears throat> oh no! I got this really bright red all over my brush. That's not gonna go on my face. I'm using a color that's very similar. Did you sleep in jeans? No, I dressed for this. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Rodan. Thank you. Thanks brother. for dressing Classing up, it up. <laughs> What did you guys already talk about? What did I miss? Everything we did last night. Everything we did last night? Everything. Everything. Like the part where we jumped in the ocean? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was awesome. And it was definitely like one of my favorite nights ever. We went and, yeah, well, I guess you already talked about it. But it was pretty awesome. We jumped in the ocean. And it was surprisingly warm. What? 
It was you guys were warm. You guys weren't warm. It was cold. I, was so warm. I got used to it. Yeah. Oh. Well, I think Broden and I were out there for so long that by the time that we actually got in, it was fine. It it was definitely like cold ocean water and like froze while we were in there. Oh, I was so comfortable. Like this is awesome. Didn't even need a wetsuit. Did people go lobstering? Apparently people are going to get lobsters. No idea what this means has at that, all. Yeah. I has thought that it happened? was a joke. Yeah, yeah they, they did have, it yesterday. There's yes. a secret lobster crew that go out every night <laughs> and just try to hunt lobsters. Okay, we're, we're eating said lobsters, correct? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I, the, the, I think the, the catch wasn't great yesterday. Oh, okay. We're, we are eating them. That's good. Uh, Michael said since he doesn't have a license, he can't bring them out of the water. Oh, yeah. Legally, he can't bring them out of the water. So his plan is to dive in and snap their necks and just leave it at the bottom of the <laughs> But, of course, Cause, he's cause, just joking and he would not do that. Well, that, it's legal for him to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can kill them just as long as you don't eat them. Who's, who's arguing for well, lobster ethics? Why give would them a they license, want that? Huh? What if, well, Why would he, they want that? That's self-preservation. Because like, what if the lobster fought back and Michael couldn't deal with it? Oh, so we're claiming self-defense against a lobster. If there's something that's going to take Michael down, it is not a lobster. I mean, they've got big claws, you know? <laughs> that is the last thing that is taking Michael down. Uh, would you guys go lobstering? I considered it. I will not lie. I did not. I will not lie. <laughs> <laughs> I, I considered it, but it's uh it's in the part of the ocean where like there's sea. Oh, no, I'm just swapping hands. I'm just swapping hands. <laughs> the levels are gonna be all messed up now. <laughs> Wait, technically the levels will be the same, right? Unless it was improperly calibrated. Ooh, well, what if you guys have different decibels? Up. That is true. I mean, I'm not the editor, so it's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix it in post. Words that I know editors love to hear. It's <laughs> always the best. You're at a shoot or something. Yeah, you could do that in post, right? <laughs> Eye roll. The the lobsters live in the part of the ocean where there's like tall seaweed and Ooh. rocks covered in moss everywhere. Ooh. So you're just touching goo and getting yeah. tickled on your legs. Just kidding. That's my worst nightmare. I was touched by seaweed last night and I freaked out. Um, and I was also ankle deep, so I'm gonna have to pass on that. But I just think it's a funny story. I went and caught lobsters at TwitchCon. What did you do at the convention? It's a little silly. Did you guys ride on any of those carts around here? The golf carts? Yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Wait. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The oh. ones where there's people and they play music. Oh no, no but I have before so elsewhere. The, there, so San. San Diego's kind of got like this gas lamp district where it's really hard to get around but there's these people who are on carts that just play like loud music and they you could just use them in substitution of a car I kind of want to go on it just for the experience we should they just bump music and it's always super chaotic and the ride is bumpy and uncomfortable yeah it, lo yeah. it looks it looks cool but you're just like wait that would probably suck yes it would suck I think I rode one of those at Coachella, and it's it is it's pretty unfun. It for the first unfun. half of the walk or the second half of the walk? <laughs> um, I think for the first half of the walk, we have to walk through all the dirt. That's where it's worth getting. Or is that the second half? I don't know. For those who don't know, at Coachella, you can there's a long walk to the beginning, uh, like the the gate to get in, but and there's all these guys like saying like, "Hey, I'll I'll, I'll ride you up there," and you pay them like, I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks. 20, 30 bucks? Is it more? Oh, God, yeah. Saikudo literally gave us 100 and was like, take one of the carts. And we were like, okay, yeah, it'll probably be. No, it was like $50. $50. And they'll they'll be like pedaling, pedaling, pedaling. They get you halfway and go, okay, get out. <laughs> uh huh. Just kick you out. And then their buddy comes up and goes, hey, I'll take you the rest of the way. <laughs> you really? <laughs> it's such a scam. It's such a scam. I'm sorry you just took a break, but I have to do my eyeliner. And anyone who wears eyeliner knows why I cannot also hold this. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in general, this is going to be difficult. I think I'm at a standstill here. Why would it be difficult? I need to hunch like a gremlin and I need a closer mirror. 
<clears throat> so you're telling me you need toast to hold up that mirror for you closer yes, to your face? Yes, the bike and the mirror. Okay, so here's what we need to do. Broden needs to hold my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is your mic. Oh, yeah, this is your mic. <laughs> I don't need a mic. I'm going to be so concentrated on doing this right now. No, you have to narrate what you're doing. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm going in with a liquid eyeliner, which is dangerous with this this mirror right now. Okay, let's go. Whoa, back it up, man. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close my eyelid, okay? And I'm going to draw a very thin line very carefully along the waterline of my eye mm. with liquid eyeliner very difficult i will deserve clapping after this oh okay? we're gonna, once we see a tip we're gonna be like holy shit she did it <laughs> so it's just like please stop sawing my arms hurt <laughs> okay <clears throat> scar can you commentate this like a sportscaster and she goes in with one one hand you won't believe her technique oh my god why do you think humans are like innately attracted to like thick eyeliners? I wear my eyeliner thin. Why do you think humans are attracted to eyeliners in general? Because I understand big, you know, body parts because of you know the ability to raise children, kind of thing. Ew, toast. But why, like? Huh? <laughs> you just said them hips is childbearing. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> but I understand like the evolutionary uh, reasons behind those. But like darker eyeliner, uh, I, this is really easy. You know when you're, you're when you're like a kid and you you outline something. Okay. To, for, for it to stand like out more, a, like one yeah. of those children's drawing. Books. Yeah, it's like for it to stand out more. It's like the same thing, right? Oh, it's like whoa! Someone outlined your eyes. Yeah, I can confirm that's it. Um, you know, for us three men well eyeliner actually can do a lot of tricks for your eyes it can make your eyes look smaller or bigger depending on how you can keep angle. drawing your eyes while my arms are getting tired <laughs> would you like to take a break oh no, I, just, I just you're allotted one break i just need as you, per legal rules of this workforce i just need you to talk and do your eyes at the same time sorry um yeah i think it's uh and you're kind of shaking. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's taking such a long time. I, this takes a while. I, I haven't even done the wing yet. All right, Broden, switch up. You take the, the mirror. I take the mirror? You okay, the wait. Mirror. I don't think I got to do this in. Okay. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh, yeah. This is great. It's from holding cameras all the time. Got to be steady. And I hold the mic to you and you hold the mic to me. There, there we perfect. go. Perfect. We still got it. But yeah, it definitely it like highlights different portions of your eyes. Exactly. Yeah. So I have a little bit of like larger eyes. So the way that I do my eyeliner makes them look a little bit smaller. Um, and then the wing is just like, it accentuates the almond shape of my eyes. And mm. that's why I do. Hmm? Are you guys ready? Everybody watch this. I didn't realize I still had the plastic on. Ooh, very satisfying. Good stuff. Here you go. <laughs> you just made it longer, so they have to hold it more. What? <laughs> I don't feel bad for them. I don't. I'll say it. <laughs> Broden puts me through hell, okay? Yeah. He can hold my mirror. <laughs> I think I think I really tend to notice people who do their eyeliner wings, wing tips well. Uh, mm. Which of our mutuals do that? Tenzin. Tenzin does crazy always eyeliner. Got, always yes. has the wings. I'm like, whoo, sheesh. My makeup is going to look bad today. Is that, our, is that his fault? His fault or your fault? Maybe a combination. Mostly uh, because I'm out blame here. The, blame the I men. I would rather be anywhere else. Wow. Doing my she makeup. is an actor. Wow. <laughs> actor and model, that's crazy. <laughs> if you it, see me today, don't judge my makeup. There's no easy way to transition this. But uh, how much time do we have left? <laughs> We're done. <laughs> All right. Um, Normally, I would love to stay and keep this. holding this microphone up. up. But, you know, 
we are at TwitchCon and we do have a lot of busy responsibilities that we agree to. Scar, what do you have right after this? Right after this, I have to go with you. Uh, can I say where? No, 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 like right after this, like immediately, like as soon as this ends. I have to go back to my room and go to sleep. Okay, Broden, what do you have immediately after this? I have a luncheon that I'm going to sleep in the Uber for. You. I have a live stream. <laughs> Wait, you're streaming? Yes. Right after this? Yes. That's why I had to come do my makeup out here. I have somewhere to be. <laughs> oh, what are you streaming? Um, the convention. Oh, wow. Yep. That's crazy. Just for fun? Nope. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Make sure to check out Sydney's stream as she live streamed the convention. I gotta go meet people. But thank you again so much to McDonald's mm -hmm. for sponsoring all the fun things we do. And thank you, chat, for coming out. We're all gonna go pass out and go do TwitchCon stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Should we close it out with our viewer questions? Yeah. No. <laughs> um, All right. W one quick viewer question. All right, chat. Go ahead and type one interesting question. Please. Anything that. Anything. We, yes. Anything. Yes. I'm looking for a question mark. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I saw I saw two now. Go for that. that was one. the first one. Go for that. I one. when I saw the second one, I forgot the first one. The f the first one was <laughs> what did you guys get for Yvonne's birthday? I didn't realize it was her birthday until yesterday. I'll be honest. <laughs> she was in the car and was like, "What do you guys want to do for dinner tomorrow?" I'm like, "What's going on tomorrow?" I don't know. I might just order food at the hotel. <laughs> and she was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> You guys are terrible. I, then I found out it's her birthday. I think her birthday was during Twitch because she's been talking about it for months. Really? Yes. And she was, how, she was talking about how sad it was that it was during TwitchCon. Which you guys all knew, right? Because it was she's been talking about it for yeah. a long time. I've been trying time. to make today Yvonne's special day. How? Yeah, what what steps have you been taking? Well, thanks guys day. so much for watching <laughs> thank you all so much for watching happy birthday so Yvonne. Yvonne happy birthday Yvonne see you guys next time goodbye <laughs> bye, -bye. bye.